Hey everybody, today on Henry's Tattoos, I'm going to show you how to make Lebanese kufta kebabs. Let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so I'll be doing this recipe based on 1 kilo of beef mince. So we'll set that to the side for now. We're going to start off with one brown onion, just a medium sized one. Cut through the middle. And all we want to do with our onion is just finely dice it. Alright, so that's our onion done, so we'll just add that straight into a bowl. What we're going to do is mix all the ingredients together before adding it to our meat. And next I've just got a handful of fresh mint, and we're just going to finely chop this as well. Now if you don't like the flavour of mint, you can just use parsley. Alright, so once you have a fine consistency like that, We'll add that straight to our onion mixture as well. Now next we'll add one heaped teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of red sumac, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of sweet paprika, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground cardamom, and finally about two to three crushed garlic cloves. Now we're going to add just about one tablespoon of olive oil to this, just to make it easy to mix. And we just want to mix this all together. Alright, so that's looking good. So we'll bring our beef back. Now firstly we just want to break it up, just so it makes it easier to mix. Alright, and now we'll just go ahead and add in our mixture. And you just want to mix that thoroughly together. Alright, so that's looking nice and combined. And it's smelling very fragrant as well. So just going to bring it back together like that. And all I'm going to do is cover it with some cling wrap. We want to put this into the fridge for around 3 to 4 hours, preferably overnight for best results, just to let all those flavours develop. And then we can go ahead and cook it. Alright guys, so to skewer these, we're just going to get a handful of our mixture like that. Just in our hands, we want to shape it into a long cylinder shape, just like that. Now for this, I'm going to use my long, thin metal skewers. In a lot of my videos you'll see me use the wide ones, but for this one we're going to do thin ones. And all we want to do is insert this straight through the middle, right until it comes at the end in the center. And now we just want to push down, but we want to push down using our entire hand, not just our fingers. And we're just going to have a bowl of water here to stop our hand sticking. And just keep on pushing it like that. Until you have a nice long shape like that. And that's all there is to it. So you should end up with something like that. So let's move on to our grill now. And all we're going to do is place our skewers straight on. Now I'm just on a medium to high heat. After about 30 seconds, we're going to flip our skewers. What this does is it seals the meat onto the skewer, not only keeping the flavour in, but reducing the chance of it falling off the skewer. After another 30 seconds, we'll flip our skewers back. And all we need to do is flip these every 30 seconds until they're cooked all the way through. This should only take about 2-3 to three minutes. Alright, so we're at the 3 minute mark now, as you can see we've got a nice beautiful charred colour, and they're cooked all the way through. So let's go ahead and serve it. Alright, so simply push down from the top, and from the bottom, push it all the way off. 
Once again, push down from the top and from the bottom, push all the way off. And we'll just finish it off with a sprinkling of red sumac. And that's all there is to it. Ready to be enjoyed on its own with rice, with salad, in a wrap, however you like it. I hope you like that guys, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram. If you've got any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.